It's good to be home. I see my village has become, well, different while I was away. The roads are gone and the people are astray. Looks like I need to get back to work to restore it to its former glory. So, what exactly is going on? I've been hearing so many rumors about lords disappearing and this... this king. It's like he doesn't want anyone, or rather any village, to become any... better. The king is a vile man. Years ago he was a lord, much like myself, and you, but something happened and he became twisted. Not only him, but everyone he influenced became twisted and swore ultimate loyalty to him. I myself have lost a few noble gods to him due to his influence. Thank goodness the light protects Azura. The... the light? It's a bond between a lord and god that cannot be broken. Only few gods have pure hearts that cannot be tainted into becoming those shadow knights. Anyway, after becoming twisted, he declared himself as king. If a lord does not surrender his village to him, well, that lord goes missing. Dead or imprisoned, I know not. I left my village to find a way to put an end to this madness. When I came upon the werewolves and attempted to help, but, well, you see where I am now. Yes, but can we do anything about this? I'm afraid after these recent events, our best bets is to stand down and hope the king doesn't come after us. Right now, I'm in no shape to find any answers. I think, for the time being, I'm going to rest and secure my village. But here, it's... It's not full healing magic, but this is the last of my magic healing potions. Take it to your friend. I'm sure this will help him. Thank you. I'll never forget this. Consider us even. Now, I need to rest. Good luck on your travels. Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, a lot has happened in the past couple of episodes with the Wolf Tribe and Brightport and just everyone in general, and I even found the Lord of Brightport, Lord Bert. And Lord Bert, as you can see, has currently been taking a little rest right now, but he was kind enough to leave me with this potion for Gareth. So without further ado, let's head on straight back home, and we're going to give this potion to Gareth, and hopefully he'll be perfectly fine because Azra <laughs> didn't give me any news or information or updates on whether Gareth was doing fine or not, so I'm assuming and I'm hoping that he's perfectly fine. As much as that kitty over there is adorable, and this kitty's adorable, I would love to stop and grab them, but right now I have bigger issues to attend to, which are going to give Gareth this potion that the Lord has given to me, unto me, and I don't know, a lot of crazy stuff has been going on, and it's all very <sighs> complicated, I guess. I don't want to tell Gareth about Xenix, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to as soon as I get back. Alright, so there's that small little ocean village that we're passing up, as usual. And, um, now we're gonna see if we can... I... It's been so long since... I feel like it's been forever since I've been back here. <gasps> there's Brendan! Jumping off! Oh, crap. My boat is gonna crash. Okay, that's fine. Alright, there's Brendan and Cuddlezilla. Oh my gosh, this little Cuddlezilla is too cute. Is too... Can I throw something away? I'm gonna throw away my dirt. There we go, and I'm gonna put this bucket right there. Alright, so Brendan, what's going on? Thank the heavens you're back, and not a moment too soon. Gareth lies on death's door. Did you bring the Lord of Brightport? Uh, no, but I have magic healing potion. It should be just as good. Thank goodness. Quick, take it to Gareth. Okay, alright, he just keeps telling me to take it to Gareth. That's perfectly fine. I can do that, Brendan. Let's do that right now. Let's take it to Gareth. Hopefully he's doing perfectly fine. And I hope Thorgy's doing okay, and Meowki too, for that matter. Oh my gosh, it's... Oh, it's been forever since I've been back. Or it feels like it. Alright, Gareth, here's the potion for you. Alright, Gareth, how are you feeling? W where am I? Where's Zenix? Calm down, you're safe. What happened? What happened? Last I remember, Zenix and I were going to investigate a suspicious door. We suspected it might have been a hideout of the man who shot Brendan, but I went to the door and the next thing I know there was an arrow in my chest. Zenix said he saw the man with the mask who sh shot it and chased after him. That's when I blacked out. Uh, tell him about the events of Brightport and Xenix, or leave him to recover. Uh, I hate when the options aren't color-coded, and you can't tell which one's the good one and the bad one, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell him <laughs> about the events of Brightport and Xenix. Xenix, could he, could he have been the one to do this to? No, no, I refuse to believe it. Sure, I found him when he was a troubled lad, but I wouldn't think he would do something like this. He's like a son to me. No, someone must have convinced him or done something to make him do this. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Garth, but it's true. Ugh, my heart. I've heard that when people are sad that their hearts can feel physical pain. It doesn't help that I actually have pain in my chest. Uh, continue the conversation or let them recover and continue later. Um, let them recover and continue later because I'm a good person. Wait, I want to, uh, I want to continue, but you're right, milady, as usual. <laughs> as usual. I'm just glad you are home safe. Aw, thank you, Thorny, I'm back! I missed you! I missed you so much, look at you, you've been, oh, you're so good. Thorny, come on, let's go. Let's go, Kiki. Oh, you, I gotta tell you about the bunny and everything that had happened. Let me see. Brendan was waiting for your return at the shore since you left. He really feels guilty that the original herb was used on him. He doesn't think highly of himself compared to Gareth. Tell Kiki of the werewolf, or Brendan should give himself more credit. Uh, let's let's tell her about the werewolves. Boldoff is so he remembers me. This this makes me so happy. She begins to tear up. You should go see him sometime. I don't think that's possible. Truth be told, Boldoff has confessed to having feelings for me more than a werewolf should have. I don't think I could face him again. When I gave him that bunny doll, he gave it back under the guise that he couldn't have it because he was de destined to be the alpha. But I really know why he gave it back. Maybe in another realm we could be together, but not this lifetime. Though if Brightport needs me to talk some sense into the wolves, I will gladly give up my pride in the name of peace. Now I need a moment. <gasps> there was a love! There's a love story! But it's that's kind of weird and sad. Aww. Okay, all right. Well, let me go check on my villagers. So the babes look like they're doing fine. It looks like Stephanie's the only babe left here. My goat, I think, is okay. I uh, no longer have a goat, I guess. What happened to my goat? I okay, so some stuff may have changed a little bit, but um, my my little town is doing very well, and I think for the time being, until I can come up with a better name, I think I'm gonna call this town Phoenix Drop, the original name that I found in that journal a while back, um, mostly because it's just iconic and symbolic to this place, and I don't know, I guess it hopefully would make Garth happy, since that was the town he used to live in, or the name of this town that he lives in still. I don't know, it's it's all confusing. All right, so Dale, Dale is here. Um, Afmao, great to have you back. Will Gareth be okay? Yes, I've given him a magic concoction. Wonderful, this is just wonderful. Now, for even better news, I'm happy to report that there has been no suspicious activity as of late. I'm doing my best to keep this place well guarded. Haha, <laughs> yes, I- <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yes, I've had one too many L as I've been keeping Brendan company on his night watch for your return. Now on to duty. <laughs> he hiccuped. That's so. There's so many guards. It's ridiculous how many guards there are now. And look at this lovely, lovely, lovely sugar cane. Oh my gosh, it's growing so nice. It's growing so nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this sugar cane and replant it again. Cause Lord knows we could use some more villagers and some more cakes. And I think now that I'm back, and I think. I don't know if Garth is going to make a full recovery, but... Ooh, Brendan. Brendan's over here now. What, what do you want, Brendan? Afmao, I need to tell you something. Xenix, I don't think he's good at all. In fact, truth be told, I didn't get shot with the first arrow. Originally, Xenix and I were shot at an, by an unknown suspect. We headed into the forest to pursue the man, but next thing I know, I was out and woke up injured and in the farmhouse. Should I tell Gareth? Uh, no. No, no. Let me handle it. Thank you. I don't think I have a heart to tell Gareth. Get it? Because I almost got shot in the heart. <clears throat> Sorry, just a little sick humor in this time of not so much humor. <laughs> oh, what is with my village right now? I guess they're slowly taking after me or something. Because that was just... That was just bad. That was just really bad. Zoe. Glad to see you back safe, Afmao. At the moment, I'm weaving more fairy lights. They'll be for sale tomorrow. Oh! And what's going on over here? What's Logan? What's going on? Well, Lord Afmao, looks like I'll be staying here for a while. But mark my words, if another event like the recent one happens again, I'll be taking Donna and leaving this place. What? Shop will be open tomorrow. Good day. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Sean Connery's doing okay. And look, he's still got his little hamster buddies. Oh, Sean Connery's doing perfectly fine. I'm so glad. Donna, what's going on? Mao, glad you're back. I convinced Logan to remain here. He's even going to open shop soon. Also, we're dating now. Just a heads up. What? 
they're, they're, they will look away from me like, nope, 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 nope. We ain't answering how this happened. How did, okay, I'm, I know how that happened. Just birds and the bees, kid. Birds and the bees. Oh, look, Thorgy, you caught me a raw fish. Okay, well, let's go back home and see what meowki has been up to. Because I feel like, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Kiki would not let Meowki go hungry for this entire time. But you know what? Let's go check on my house. My little house, which hopefully hasn't been blown up by a creeper. And see exactly what are the going-ons here. And I don't hear a cat screaming and, like, meowing. So I think that it's perfectly safe to say that we are doing perfectly fine oh i hear a cat now okay um yeah i have a lot of stuff i need to get rid of and just put things away so the fox is still here so the fox is still good i'm surprised actually the fox is more loyal than my cat at the moment um okay so let's see do i have any food for meowki do i have anything of use um and now that my armor like i don't really need the armor that I'm wearing and I would like to save it especially since it's diamond armor and I have run into like a problem with diamond I'm gonna go ahead and uh put on my regular um I, I need to make some new uh, my my iron uh shoes broke but um I'm gonna put away my diamond stuff for right now because I honestly don't need it I don't need my golden sword since I'm on good terms with the werewolf I hope they don't whoa that cat is not happy right now. That is a not happy cat if I've ever heard one. Um, okay, so let's see. What exactly can I do right now? Since, man, I gotta fix up my village because now that Lord Bert is back in his village, I'm pretty sure Brightport is going to be hustling and bustling as, as, as better than ever. There's Meowki too. Oh, what are you doing here? Come here. Come on. Let's get you inside. Let's get you inside, Meowki too. I think I now have two cats. I have two cats now. What just happened? Uh. Oh my god. Double freaking trouble. Oh my gosh. I have magic. This lasso is. I have two cats. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You know what? I, what you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave the bunny right here. Um, I think I'm gonna carry that around with me next time I go out on a journey because it seems to I mean it helped me out in my journey a little bit So I mean I can't really say much about it. The kitty bed has some food and stuff like that I know better than to put um, a litter box inside of my place because Monsters might smell it and think it smells like the most horrid thing in the world and cause it to explode But you know what that's perfectly fine Um, so I guess some things that we need to do now are for one I could put the fox down um, two, I'm gonna need to really expand my village, and I think, whoa, 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 kitty cat, whoa, oh god, there's a creeper, oh god, I gotta get that creeper out of here, I gotta get that creeper out of here, ah, okay, well, at least it didn't blow, what is this place, oh, this is my, this is my place that leads into my, okay, yeah, um, alright, so there's a lot of stuff that I have to do here now, so guys, now that I'm back, now that Gareth is, I guess okay for the time being. We're gonna find out if he's completely healed. I I feel bad for telling him about Xenix, but for the time being, we're just gonna leave it as it is. So thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Minecraft Diaries. Um I'm gonna go ahead and start working here on on Ph Phoenix Drop. I'm gonna start working here on Phoenix Drop, trying to make this place look just a little bit nicer than it does. I mean a little bit bigger, just you know, much I hope nothing comes up because that's that little arc that I went through, all that stuff that I just- Where did that scorpion go? God, I'm poisoned. Uh, ooh, did I just get a medallion? What is going on? Why aren't the guards helping? What is- Guards, you are the worst guards ever. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one where we will be finding out what's going to be going on with Brendan, with Logan and Donna, and I'm going to get some more of those fairy lights because those are just freaking awesome. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.